Hey, Shalom. First, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh who the world inwardly calls God, Yahweh Shah who the world inwardly calls Jesus. Want to give a double honor to the possible great millstone who has some of this truth. Want to give a peace and blessings to the occupant across the four corners of the earth who teaches truth and risk of life to do so. It's going to be a quick video, man, on basically um just the times we're coming into. Not only the times we're coming into, but we was we leaving camp and brothers was getting into. Uh, you know about the persecution and about the things that are to come now that's true it's written in the scriptures that persecution is going to come right but uh, what i kept saying was esau he could do whatever he needs to do it's already written once you look in the scriptures that say the lamb shall overcome right basically how shy and elect they should make war with your house shy and elect but the uh, Yahweh Shining Lek is going to overcome. So it's already, the battle was already won. Okay, even when you go, when the scriptures say, um, uh, uh, the enemy shall come in like a flood and, and, um, the most I shall lift up a standard against them. Okay. So when the enemy come, comes in like a flood, the most high is going to be our defense, right? The most high is going to lift up a standard, which is going to give us power. Okay. To defend ourselves, man. And really to 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 draw out the prophecy, to 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 play out the prophecies that's written. The lamb shall overcome is a prophecy. Us getting the spiritual power is a prophecy as well. Okay? So the thing is, is that yeah, and the scriptures say that our weapons of warfare are not carnal. So the shit that happened, the things that happened in New Jersey, right? <laughs> About, you know, they're trying to, you know, make it seem like or deem us that from what I took from it, that we're carnal and we have weapons and bombs and these of that nature. Listen, man. The weapons of all warfare are not carnal, but we already know what 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 you know the enemy is trying to do. All right, we already know, we already know. But that's why we trust in the Most High because I was reading today like Nero how he lit that fire in Italy. If I'm not mistaken, it was Italy, and blaming it on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on, the, on the Christians. Okay, listen, man, that, that's what's going. Listen, this is going to happen. Okay, but look at Sirach 2 and 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see did any ever trust in the most high and was forsaken or did any abide in his fear? Um, you know, basically, did any abide in his fear? Did he betray anybody? Who did he betray? No, none. When you go into Psalms, what is that, 90? 91, 90? It says, uh, it says, uh, you know, 10,000 shall fall at thy right side, right? No harm shall touch thee. Okay. The most high is a, is a buckler to the upright man who walk in his word, who abide in his fear. A part, a part of abide in his fear is going out to the highways and byways, teaching his truth, doing his truth to the best of your abilities, right? Uh, um, you know, having faith, praising the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, praying, right? Being brotherly. Okay? Yeah, these are the things that that go into abide in the fear. Which is what? <laughs> not, um, you know, not going into the ways of this world, you know, not going into the ways of this world, but following the law because that's love. If you love the Most High, you're going to follow His law. If you love Yahweh Shai, you're going to follow His law. The Most Yah Yahweh Shai said He's going to be with us, man. Even into the end, man. Okay? And at the end of the day, the end is, the end of this world is the beginning of a new one. And the new one is what? That new world is what? The kingdom. That's what we're fighting for. You know, that's what we're hoping for. That's why we do what we do. So we can receive the promises that's, 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 um, so we can receive the promises that's, that's uh, written for us, man. Okay? Other nations are going to have to build up our kingdom. We won't rule a ship. Okay? Starting off with Yahweh, going down to Yahweh Shai, and then his joint heirs, which is the elect. Most I say he has care for his elect when you go into Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, right? All this is for is for Yahweh Shai and the elect, and we thank Yahweh while Yahweh Shai, Lord will I be part of the elect, but we thank Yahweh while Yahweh Shai for even having the elect, for even uh, establishing a new covenant with his people Israel, me being an Israelite. Because with me being an Israelite, right? And, and able to have mercy and able to receive mercy you know I have to do the things that I need to do to to uh, have mercy in the times to come and what I mean by uh, mercy is that you know Yahweh Shai came and he established reestablished the covenant 
right? <clears throat> Between Yahweh and and uh, and his people. Okay, but not only that, just you know, Lord willing, you know, I'm called, but Lord willing, I'm chosen. Just being an elect and you know, even having the knowledge to know that hey, you know, it's the it's 144,000 total thousand from each tribe that's going to rule the world and be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. That's why we have to stand bold, okay? That's why we have have to stand bold. We got to stand bold. We got to be bold and stand bold and preach this word to the best of our abilities, man. That's what we have to do, okay? The scriptures say, uh, take no thought on what you should say when they should deliver you up, right? Look how bold your house shot was, man, when he had the conversation with Pilate. Pilate. Look how bold your house shot was. He was bold. He wasn't ducking. Even when Judas, uh, even when Judas had uh, brought the uh, the people that the the wicked Pharisees had, you know, used to try to harm your house shot. Even when he had brought them, right, and it was like, hey, we looking for we looking for your house shot. We looking for Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai said, I am him. You found, I'm him. This is me. And then they fell back. Like, okay. Then they say, then he say, right, ain't you, you looking for me, right? Basically. You're looking for me. I'm him. So he wasn't ducking nothing. He was bold, bold. Even he say, in the scriptures, even he say, he said, um, he said, when Pilate was questioning him, he said, my kingdom, if, if this was, if I was of this world, they would fight for me. That's what he said. He said, if I was of this world, they will fight for me, but I am not of this world. Okay? Um, my kingdom is not of this. My kingdom is to come, basically. This is not my kingdom. This is what he was saying. Roughly paraphrasing what he was saying, but he was saying this is not my kingdom. Okay? So if we know that, that, uh, that this is the this is not the most high's kingdom, then we know the kingdom to come uh it's like it that we know that Yahweh Shai is not his kingdom, and the kingdom to come is Yahweh uh Yahweh Shai's. And then Yahweh Shai's kingdom, everything is gonna be right, everything is gonna be in order, everything is gonna be ain't gonna be no going off. The elect men are gonna have uh um the law is gonna be with within us, Lord will not be part of the elect, and we're gonna have to we're gonna use the law, we're gonna execute judgment for those who don't follow the law. You're gonna have to Follow our law. You're gonna to have to follow the ways of the Most High, and I'm talking about the other nations. Okay, that's coming in the kingdom. Okay, when we have the ultimate power, because it says, uh, because uh, uh, well, it's even in our name, uh, Yasharal, He Prince Power. Okay, all right, Prince of Who, the Most High. Okay, so these are the things to come. These are the things that's going to come. These are these are the are the times that we're coming into. When you go into second Ezra's, the 15th and the 16th chapter, or really, you know, yeah, the 15th and 16th chapters, it tells you that, uh, that you know, they should be like madman sparing none. Kind of goes into the uh, Jacob's trouble, you know, perdition among men, people, you know, stealing, uh, 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 just all out hell breaking loose, right? And if you don't have the most high on your side in that day, if you did nothing now, while you yet had liberty, to get right, if you did nothing now, guess what's going to happen? You're not going to have no protection. And if you don't have no protection, guess what? You're going to be labeled to death. Okay? You're going to be labeled to death. That's what's going to happen to you. And that's what you're going to get is death. Because what did you do to deserve any salvation? It says you you loathe the most high is the law. The, the people who loathe the most high the law, which loathe means you have a strong hatred for it. You don't fear the most high. You people don't feel the, feel the most high, and it's evident because you walk around, you so indulge in America, right? You indulge in in, in in the wickedness in this place, and you afford the wickedness in this place. So guess what? It says, uh, death is for, an, was it fire, or death is for an unrighteous generation? Something roughly paraphrasing. Okay, how's the second... Uh, um, how is the second death going to come about? And what is it going to be? Well, we know it's going to be fire. The first death was what? Water. 
missiles hitting this place, man. 200,000, 1,000, 200 million missiles hitting this place, and this place is going to be destroyed in one hour. Scriptures tell you that. This place is going to be destroyed in one hour, man. You know? So why indulge in this place knowing that it's going to be destroyed? Why not try to set up or get yourself right so you could hopefully have some protection in the times to come? Okay, because it's all, you know, it's all fun and games until hell actually hit. Once hell actually hit, then what? Then what? Then what are you going to do? You want to get right? Lord, Lord. Right? You want to get right? And then all of a sudden you want to get right? You want to, oh, wait, wait. Oh, what? You want to ask questions now? You want to act like you're, uh, you want to act like you, you, um, you, you, you believe? You want to act like you've been believing? You want to call on the most high at the last minute? When yet you had liberty to get yourself right? It's a matter of fact. So like, let me, um, so like, give me one second. Give me one second. I can let me find it. I don't even think about it. No, let me get this. This is Second Andrew 16 and 18. It says, The beginning of sorrows, great mornings, and beginning of famine and great death, and the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when the evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. <laughs> but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. That's how wicked you people are, man. Behold, the victuals shall be so so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even that, uh, even then shall evils grow upon the earth, swore famine and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the death shall be cast out as dung. It's like in the dead shall be cast out as dung. And there shall be no man to comfort them, for earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. So I don't sound like a good time. There should be no man left till earth and so left to till the earth and to sow it. Okay? So that don't sound like that don't sound like, you know, uh 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 pudding pops, you know, rainbows, lollipops and things of that nature, how you you people preach. And what you people preach. That don't sound like that to me. Okay, it don't sound like that at all to me. Okay, uh, it says, um, let me see. Uh, let me get this. This is, um, yeah, I think. This is a uh, second uh, address 15 and I'll go to you know what 
I started um I saw that too. It says, and cause, nope, it's three. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them that trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay? The wickedness have, have have polluted the whole earth. It says, therefore, said the Lord Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more, touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And what we do, okay? And therefore, said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me. All the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my. I'm gonna jump down. Let me jump down to. To uh, 14. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. One people shall stand up and fight against another with uh, in swords in their hands." So that's talking about all hell breaking loose. On the place you love so much, which is called America. And if you want me to prove that, it says, because if you go up, it says, uh, it says in 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and they stretched our arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Okay. So this is talking about a different Egypt. And when you go into, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's revelations, it says, uh, Sodom and Egypt. Okay. Talking about this place, America, it says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it, that they that till the ground shall mourn and their seed shall fail through the blasting and hell with fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay. Uh, let me jump to. Let me jump to 17. And I'll grab a couple more and I'll end it. It says a man shall desire to go in the city. It shall not be able. Okay. So a man is going to desire to go in the city and should not be able. Why? Because, you know, cities are going to be blocked off. All hell is going to be breaking loose. It's going to be total martial law here, man. Okay. Right. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and great tribulation. Behold, saith the Most High, I will call together all the things of the earth reverence me, which are from the rising of the... Well, I'm going to go back to 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, and but shall destroy their houses with the sword. So a man is not going to have pity on his neighbor in his day. Like uh, if you uh, watched, if you ever watched the movie um, uh, Batman with the Joker in it, the one with the Joker in it, uh, he said, "Hey, you know these people." Uh, what he what did Joker say when he's being talked to by Batman in that interrogation room? He say, "You know, you if you starve these people out, these people will eat each other." Basically, like he was telling Batman, "Man, these people ain't for you. The people of Gotham ain't for you. These civilized people you call civil, these civilized people you call civilized." If you starve them out, they'll eat each other. This is what's going to happen. So you people are not going to be civilized or not civilized. Okay. And you're going to show your your lack of civilization in the time to come. Okay. It says. Uh, I'm going to jump down. It says. Uh, I'm going to jump down to 21. It says like as they do yet this day unto my chosen so i would do also and recompense in their bosom thus said the lord yahweh my right hand shall not spare the sinners and my sword shall not cease over them that shed the innocent blood upon the earth the fire is going forth from his wrath and hath consumed the foundations of the earth and the sinners like a straw that is kindled woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments said the lord okay woe woe means destruction okay it says, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power to found not my sanctuary. 
Okay, but the point I wanted to get was was uh, 24. It says, Woe to them that sin and keep not uh, uh, my commandments, said the Lord. So if you haven't kept the commandments and you haven't did anything on this side, while you yet had liberty um, to get right, guess what's going to happen to you? You're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, and that's coming from the scriptures, man. You know, so with that, man, Lord willing, the video was uh, edifying. Lord willing, you brothers got some uh, from this video. I want to say, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashimi Yahweh Shai. I want to say, Mwathla Babo, Baba Kashai, Baba Kashai, Baba Kashai, Yahweh, Bahashimi Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, we keep going. Lord willing, we able to get through this time. And I want to say, brothers, keep going. Shalom. Shalom, Mikey.